Lawmakers in Santa Fe are on the home stretch and working furiously toward their Saturday noon deadline. The budget and a massive public works bill are already on the governor's desk, as well as more than 100 other bills. There's still a lot we're watching, though. Matt Grubbs is at the Capitol tonight. So, Matt, our new attorney general wants to step into the child protection fight now. Yeah, that's right. Raul Torres wants to create a civil rights division in his office that would hold accountable public officials for how they do their job. He says his first focus would be on kids. The idea is to formally make the AG uh, task the AG, I should say, with monitoring equal justice under the law. So if someone at Children, Youth and Families isn't doing what they're supposed to, for example, or if uh, schools are disciplining kids unequally, the state can have an outside agency, the AG's office in this case, that would investigate and in some cases ask a court to order compliance. Instances where there's reports of abuse and neglect, instances where foster children don't have access to the resources that they need. You know, recently, we had a, a, a really disturbing um, event at a CYFD location where a young person was assaulted um, while they were actually in state custody. All of those things would come under the purview of the Civil Rights Division. That bill passed its final committee this morning. It's waiting for a floor vote. The governor has not responded warmly to ideas for outside supervision uh, with the Department of Children, Youth and Families. She has not said yet if she would sign this bill. It's Senate Bill 426, Julie. Yeah, Matt, so this is more than just a CYFD though, right? This is actually government officials across the board. Yeah, right, exactly. The entirety of government. So say that there's a, uh, a sheriff's department that has an issue with use of force. This would allow the state to sort of step in at some point and recommend changes or, like I said earlier, perhaps take this to court for enforcement. And we want to get back to the kids for a moment. They're going to spend more time in school. What else is happening on that front? Yeah, the governor has that extended learning bill on her desk. Um, we also today saw uh, the Senate agree to um, uh, graduation requirements, more graduation requirements for students or new graduation requirements. We've talked about that a little bit before. This is the bill that would actually lower the total number of requirements, but it would allow more local control and supporters say it would also provide more relevant learning for students. So that is on its way to the governor as well. As you said, there's a lot to watch up here. We're going to get back to it, but we'll see you again at 6. All right, Matt, thank you. So in case you missed a bill to curb retail crime is moving forward in Santa Fe. It would let prosecutors add up the value of stolen items, making repeat shoplifting charges into a more serious crime and hopefully make things a little less stressful on employees. They're having guns pulled on them. They're having hammers pulled on them. They're getting sprayed with mace, hit with stun guns. So. What this bill is really trying to recognize is that that sort of danger and that sort of violence should not be an occupational hazard. The bill passed this full Senate this afternoon. The House needs to agree to a small change, and if that happens, the measure then goes up to the governor for her signature. Now, lawmakers are literally in a race against time to get these bills across the finish line. We've got a big update on the medical malpractice debate coming up tonight on KO Before at 6. It's going to be a busy process from now until Saturday, so you can keep up with all of our coverage in these final hours on KOB.com.